most of you know, QR code stands for Quick Response Code. And it's a two-dimensional barcode that holds a good deal more information than a traditional barcode. They originated in Japan at the Toyota factory to track the manufacturing of car parts. Since then, they've taken off in popularity, and you'll see them everywhere in consumer advertising. When you scan a QR code, you're instantly taken to a variety of tech-based experiences. Could be a text message, could be an audio message, could be a website, could be a video. It's like magic. The tools to create a QR code are essentially free, and the tools to interact with a QR code are increasingly easy and common to use. So we have this great, free, easy tool, but what can we do with it? Teachers have realized there's a lot of potential for QR codes in the classroom. Recently, I told my class we would be learning some new vocabulary words, something we do two or three times a month. They let out a groan because it's kind of a boring activity. Then I passed out QR codes to all my students and told them we'd be interacting with them with devices, and that's how they'd find the vocabulary list. The attitude in the class changed completely. They went from groaning and moaning to excited and enthusiastic. I could teach the exact same lesson using QR codes and not using QR codes and get a completely different attitude. One fun activity to do with QR codes is a scavenger hunt. I create QR codes with tasks assigned to them. I hide them all around the room. Students go with their devices and scan them and have to complete the task. Recently, I hosted a technology event at my school and held a, a school-wide QR code. Students loved it. In grades K through 6, they were completely engaged and excited, literally running from code to code because they were so excited to see what the next task was going to be. Students who didn't have devices with them were begging their parents to pull out their smart smartphones so they could participate as well. It was so refreshing to see that level of enthusiasm and excitement regarding learning. A creative use for teachers for QR codes is, is for positive reinforcement. Put up a poster in your classroom with numbered QR codes, each one leading to a different message. When a student needs some feedback, tell them, go scan number five, go scan number 22. And the message will say, great job today. I love your enthusiasm. Nice work. I can see you're working really hard. It's so much more exciting for a student to get out of their seat, scan a code, and interact with something for the teacher just to say, good job. It's much more memorable. Libraries have endless uses for QR codes. Scannable book reviews, lists of reading suggestions and book lists on the walls, biographies. Imagine pulling a biography of Martin Luther King Jr. off the shelf, scanning a QR code, and being instantly taken to the I Have a Dream speech. It literally makes learning come alive. QR codes can add a nice 21st century twist to a traditional assignment. Each year, I have my class create a poster for a book report, something we've all probably done at some point in elementary school. It's a little bit of a boring assignment. The kids enjoy it OK. This time, I changed it up, and the second step of the assignment was to have them record their voices recording an audio QR code of themselves giving a book review of the book. They then printed the QR code, attached it to the poster, and gave the poster a hands-on interactive quality. We put them in the hallway, and kids from all different classes were walking by, scanning them, listening to these book reviews. It was so much more fun than just a traditional poster. My class recently had the privilege of participating in a QR code lesson led by a teacher across the country. If the video chat weren't exciting enough, the fact that she incorporated QR codes into the lesson, my students from their seat, from the comfort of their classroom, could actually scan the codes on the computer screen, interacting with her QR codes from 3,000 miles away, was incredibly exciting and memorable for my students. They did not stop talking about the lesson for weeks. You just don't get that kind of memorable, engaging experience using a worksheet or reading from a textbook. QR codes have a possible use in every grade level with every subject area. Kindergarten teachers can have their students scan a QR code that leads to a phonics lesson. The music teacher can create audio QR codes of their students playing instruments or singing. PE teacher can post real-time race results or athletic event results, all attached to a QR code. The student council or the PTO can advertise upcoming school events all around the school and send home on flyers via QR code. The possibilities with this free and easy tool are endless.
If used properly, QR codes have the potential to awaken a student, transform a lesson, and bring down the walls of your classroom, creating the ultimate 21st century learning opportunity.